eye herpes causes and treatment in addition to causing cold sores the herpes simplex virus or hsv can cause sores to appear on the eyes when herpes symptoms affect the eyes it is known as eye herpes ocular herpes or herpetic eye disease eye herpes may be a cause for concern because it can have uncon uncomfortable symptoms in rare instances eye herpes can affect the deeper layers of a person's eyes and their vision in this video we examine the types of herpes that can affect someone's eye and the symptoms that may occur we also look at the causes of eye herpes and the treatment options types there are two major types of herpes simplex virus herpes type 1 or hsv1 commonly affects the face and is responsible for symptoms that include cold sores which some people refer to as fever blister according to, according to the american academy of ophthalmology hsv1 is more likely than hsv2 to cause eye infections type 2 herpes type 2 or hsv2 is a sexually transmitted form of the virus while this type mainly causes symptoms on the genitals it can also affect the eyes a person will typically contract either form of the virus as a result of skin to skin contact with someone who already has the infection the virus often lays dormant in the nerve cells and can travel along the nerves to the eye upon activation most people have contracted the virus at some point in their lives but not everyone gets symptoms as a result symptoms when a person gets herpe herpetic eye disease they can experience a variety of symptoms this can sometimes occur in both eyes but they usually affect one eye more than the other some of the symptoms depend on the affected part of the eye examples of these symptoms include the feeling of something being in the eye headaches light sensitivity redness tearing sometimes a person may also experience herpes sores on top of the eyelids this may resemble a rash with blisters the blisters will form crusts that usually heal within three to seven days if the herpes virus affects the cornea the inside of the eye or the retina a person may find that their vision becomes reduced typically eye herpes does not cause a lot of pain even though a person's eye may look painful the symptoms of an herpes simplex virus infection affecting the eye may be very similar to those of the varicella zoster virus which causes chickenpox however a varicella zoster infection is more likely to result in a rash with a distinctive pattern that occurs in only one eye another condition that can have similar symptoms is pink eye which is also known as conjunctivitis causes the herpes virus can spread via the nasal secretions or spit of a person with the infection the likelihood may be higher than a person has a cold sore the virus within the secretions can then travel through the body's nerves which can include those in the eye in some cases the virus enters the body and does not cause any problems or symptoms doctors describe this form of the virus as lying dormant certain triggers can sometimes cause a dormant virus to start reproducing and cause eye irritation examples of these triggers include fever major surgical or dental procedures stress sunburn trauma or severe injury the herpes virus can be highly contagious however not everyone who contracts or comes into con contact with the herpes virus will get eye herpes 
treatments. No cure currently exists for herpetic eye disease. Instead, an eye doctor can prescribe medications that reduce the effects and symptoms of the condition. The location of eye herpes tends to determine the treatment options. Eyelids Doctors will prescribe topical ointments such as an antiviral or antibiotic ointment for a person to apply gently to their eyelids. While antibiotic ointments will not treat the herpes infection, they will keep other bacteria from entering the open, blistering areas of the eyelid. Outer eye layers If the eye herpes only affects the outermost layers of the eye, a doctor may prescribe an antiviral eye drop or an oral antiviral medication. This help reduce the effects of the virus and could reduce the duration of symptoms. Deeper eye layers If the herpes virus has affected deeper layers of the eye, an eye doctor may prescribe antiviral eye drops and oral medications. They may also prescribe steroid eye drops. This help reduce eye inflammation that could lead to increased eye pressure. Prevention As the eye herpes can cause further infections, some doctors may recommend taking antiviral medic medicines on a regular basis to reduce the risk of getting eye herpes again. Recurrent herpetic eye infections can lead to greater eye damage, which is why doctors want to prevent their recurrence. Doctors may recommend that a person take an antiviral medication a few days before they have surgery so that they can prevent the stress of the surgery from triggering a herpes outbreak. According to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, doctors diagnose about 50,000 new cases of eye herpes each year in the United States. Well, there is no cure for eye herpes. Treatment can reduce the duration of symptoms. If a person has recurrent eye infections or starts to experience vision loss, they should seek an appointment with an eye specialist for an assessment and advice on additional treatments.